some people to uh, get some brief diversion from the heaviness of, politi uh, of politics and your day-to-day -day grind and you just want a little fun, R&R. &R. Others of you want to be politically challenged and uplifted and motivated to enact change in your communities. But, <clears throat> yeah, and that, you know, has a perfect little space in this fucked up entertainment complex that we've constructed for ourselves. Where we, do, you, do you people realize we have an, like an entertaining tyrant happening right now? Like, hilarious. Where do you think entertainment comes from? Let's venture a guess. So, when we're born, this is, this is where we start. This is the fucking joke. Our brains are too big to make it through the birth canal. So evolution makes us half formed when we come out. And culture fills the gap. And we just do our best and hope that someone's gonna tell us what's right or wrong and whatever not. But when you can find out a way to make one thing more attractive, one way of being more attractive, that's when you get entertainment. Am I right? <clears throat> I am not, I'm deeply off script right now. Because to be honest, like I don't know, like I don't know, like what I saw, what I'm seeing happening right now, I don't know, like I don't know that I can rationally respond to this. I, like it's insane. It's truly insane. Are we just supposed to have like a blues, like a chili off right now? And just wait for someone hilarious to say something hilarious that makes us feel better about it for a second? Do we think that our hilarious tyrant is going to be met with a hilarious revolution that is won by hilarious revolutionaries and the whole thing is gonna be like entertaining as fuck the whole time? I'm standing in front of like a battleship. Do you know what I mean? Like a literal battleship in a country. I mean, I can't even say it out loud. I always thought that it was gonna look way more sophisticated than this when fucking evil happened. When the collective consciousness was so numb and so fucking sated and so gorged on entertainment I expected a less cliche evil. And now it's just this bad, it's not even good writing. It's not even a good narrative. How entertaining should this be right now? with a fucking battleship in the background and this shit happening on TV, how fucking fun should this be? How fucking fun can it be? Can it be real in any sense? With that shot, like, I'm, I'm, like, I cannot play bored in the USA for you right now. No, 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 because guess what? I soft shoot that shit into existence by going, no, 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 look over here, put your self-awareness on, it will never actually be that bad because we're too smart. And while we were looking in that direction, stupidity just fucking runs the world because entertainment is stupid. Do you guys realize that? Like, do, like, like that at the core, Entertainment is stupid. You're welcome.
You may be bummed that homeless Chris Isaac is up here in a half unbutton is stupid, but I guarantee you it may be the only thing that sticks out of this fucking, fucking hickory smoked fucking abortion that this fucking culture is. Like maybe you'll remember that entertain, maybe you'll remember that. It's not particularly catchy.